Today we're going to look at the Grow Your Own Lunch kit that some of you will have had um, hopefully delivered to you. So in your pack you should have had your instructions, an empty milk or juice carton, a bag of compost, some seeds and a plant label. The extra things that you're going to need will be either a knife or some scissors, a pen and I'm going to put on some gloves to keep my hands clean. So I shall just put my gloves on. So if you haven't had one of the packs in the post, as long as you've got all these things at home, you could actually have a go yourselves. So let's have a look at the instructions. First instruction says, lie your carton on its side and mark out a rectangle. So I'm going to draw it out using up most of the side of the carton like that. The next thing you need to do is cut this out very carefully. You might want somebody to help you with this. I'm going to use a knife and just push into the carton and then I'm going to very carefully cut, trying to follow those lines. I'm going to turn the carton around as I go so that I'm never cutting towards myself. I say somebody might be able to do this for you at home if you're not sure you can always use scissors I'm nearly done the last edge now there we go so this is your container what you're going to do now is fill your container with the compost. So open up the bag of compost and carefully pour it into your container. And you want that to come just below the top of your container. If it doesn't make it that full with the compost you've been given, don't worry, just work with what you've got. If you've got too much compost, then you can save that for another project. There we go. So just make sure it's leveled out. What you can do is give it a little bit of a shape like that. And there is my container. Right, what you need to do now is take your little bag of lettuce seeds and we're going to need to plant them. Now we're going to perhaps try and do two rows. So we're going to go one row on one side and one row on the other. Now what I'm going to do is take off a glove here because it will be easier. You won't need to use all of your seeds. Yeah. Now you might find this easier if you've put the seeds, tipped the seeds onto a plate or into a pot. I'm going to put mine onto here. Now you can try and pick up individual seeds but it's very difficult so I'm just going to pick up a few at a time, spread them out in a line. Along here. And that's one line. And I'm going to do another line. Just 
picking up those last few little seeds. I'm going to tip those ones just onto there. Now I think I need a few more out of my bag. So I'm going to open it up. Get a few more. Sprinkle them on. Now once you've got your two lines of seeds, what you want to do is to just push them down and make sure they're covered up. So just push them down into the soil a little bit, like that. There we go. Yeah, so the next thing I'm going to do is write my label. So I'm going to put the word lettuce on there. So that's my label. It says lettuce. Pop that into the end. Now all you need to do now is they need a little bit of water then when you've watered them you need to put them somewhere warm and sunny so ideally onto a windowsill perhaps in your kitchen and then you just need to keep an eye on them don't let it get too dry but make sure that it's not swimming with water as well and then that'll sit on your windowsill and the lettuce will start to grow and what you can do when they grow about this high, you don't need to pull them up by the roots. You can just tear them off or get a pair of scissors and snip them. And then that lettuce will grow back again. And that should keep you going with salad all summer long.